We've had a few questions recently about voice controls. So here's a real quick how-to video on creating a few basic scripts in GlovePy. This week we'll just concentrate on voice commands for keyboard presses, but we'll cover mouse controls soon. GlovePy is a free download, so as with most things you download from the internet, just be careful where you download it from. First off we're going to have a look at how to create toggle button presses which are really handy if you're playing first person Stop. games like Team Fortress 2 as you can use voice commands to hold down the WASD keys and you can concentrate on just using the mouse for looking around and firing. So to toggle a single button this is what you need to type. After where you type then is where you need to type what key you want to be pressed. So here I want it to be the W key so I've put keyboard.w if you're not sure what to type in here, i.e. if you're not sure whether to type del or delete for a press of the delete button, if you go into the GUI tab, then select choose manually, the spellings are all listed here. What you type in between the quotation marks is the word that you want to use to activate the key press. In this instance I'm using forward, but it can be whatever you want. Sometimes GlovePy may find it difficult to distinguish between similar sounding words, so you may need to spend some time finding the right words for you. It's also really important that after you type true, you press the return key to start a new line before you then type end if, as without this on its own separate line at the end, the command won't work. You'll also need a command for stopping the toggle once it's on. Here I'm using stop. What you type for this is the same as before, but instead of typing true, you'll need to type false. As you can see, I have a long list of toggles that my word stop cancels, and if you notice, you still have to type end if right at the end, again on its own line. Next, let's have a look at what you need to enter to activate a single button press. So this is what you need to type. Again, what you type in the quotation marks is the command that you want to use to press the button. The number on the end of this line is the amount of time you want the button to be pressed down for in seconds. So for example here I've set the amount of time I duck for to 3.5 seconds. Duck. You can also set more than one button to be pressed down when you say one word. For example, here the control and escape keys are pressed down at the same time when I say the word exit. GlovePy is a fantastically versatile tool Stop. and we've just covered Stop. a couple of basics but hopefully it's enough to get you started. I'll post some of the scripts used in this video below Stop. in the description Stop. so you can save some time and copy and paste them. If you have any questions Stop. about this video or what we do here at the charity Special Effect go to www.specialeffect.org.uk and make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel to be kept up to date with our videos on Stop. gaming accessibility. Forward. Stop.